In this video, I'm going to talk about affiliate marketing, but specifically, we're going to look at how to find the top paying affiliate programs. In fact, what I'm going to show you today is if you have an affiliate program that you want to promote, excuse the cattail, I'm going to show you how to look and see if they have an affiliate program. Or if you don't know yet what you want to promote and you're looking to look through affiliate programs that are available to promote, we're going to take a look at um, affiliate networks as well. And I will talk a little bit about the differences in how they pay, what a referral window is. So if you're just getting started, you'll have a little bit more information on how to choose affiliate programs. So affiliate marketing, if you're here, you probably know, is just basically when you promote another product or service that you didn't build. It's that simple. So for me, I have uh, I have a couple hundred affiliate programs that I actually promote, but I have a few key ones that bring in over six figures a year. So I really focus on those, and then I have others that I build. I also have an affiliate real estate model. I hope you're enjoying the cat that's making a cameo right now. So my real estate model um, is where I generate all the leads, I build the website, I do all the promotion, and then I get paid a commission out of the real estate deal. I do have to have a license to accept a commission, but that's another leg entirely. And then I also have a relationship with a digital marketing company where I generate their leads, and then I get a, a piece of the revenue. Those are all affiliate models. So there's so many ways to do this <laughs> affiliate marketing game. The cat's name is Gaia. She is a new kitten that I adopted along with her brother, Gabe, and she's getting used to the YouTube studio, obviously. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here so that we can take a look at what I'm talking about. All right, let's do it this way first. Let's just go ahead and go over to Google. Just doing my search there earlier for the best Yeti microphone settings. I still haven't figured those out. Oh, here's Gabe. Gabe wants to make an appearance too. That's Gabriel. I have three cats, Gabriel, Gaia, and Gideon. Okay, now let's just say that you are um, wanting to make affiliate marketing by doing product reviews. So you are going to start by creating YouTube videos or a blog or social posts or TikTok videos, whatever it's going to be, on some products that you have around your house. Okay? So I'll start. Um, I have on, on the side of my uh, video room right now, I see two lights, video lights. Okay? I will put a link to anything I mentioned today in the description below. If I mention any software or these lights, I'm probably an affiliate and also benefit if you make a purchase. But let's just say you want to promote these lights. Okay. In my case, these are the newer N-E-W-E-R lights. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Amazon first. So Amazon is an affiliate, has an affiliate program. It's called Amazon Associates. Now, this was big, big, big when it first launched. And over time, people have gotten less and less excited about a building, about building affiliate websites based on Amazon, um, their affiliate program, because the commissions are so low. So probably like one to four percent for the most part. So I, like I'm I have a blog that's ranking really high for an item that costs about three hundred dollars and I'm only making about 20 bucks when one sells. So the commission's really low. Um, but it still has its place. So these, this is a prime example, these lights. I actually got them from Amazon. So I'm gonna put in newer studio lights. I'll show you which ones they are. Normally I'd go through my orders, but I don't wanna open my orders right now while we're, while we're on the call. Okay, so I've got these guys right here. So these are these newer 18.3 inch, this, this is, these are the video lights that I have, okay? Now, you would go in, just go to Google and type in Amazon Associates, and you will see the link to Amazon to apply to the Amazon Associates program. Each time you try to join an affiliate program or an affiliate network, which I'll explain the difference in a couple minutes, you will be asked to provide some information. Sometimes they want to see a website. 
Sometimes they're okay with a large social media following and they'll just ask for your social channel or your YouTube channel. Sometimes they want a business EIN number to prove that you have an actual business. And sometimes they don't. So you'll have to look at each one of those as you go along. I myself do have a separate business license and a separate tax ID number for my affiliate business because if you're earning that much income, it's taxable. So I've got to put that all through properly. If you're just getting started and you're promoting a few things here or there around your house and you're going to test it out, you may not need a business license. So talk to whoever your local people are about that. But sometimes you will be asked for it when you're applying to a program for a program like Amazon Associates. Okay, the other thing is they also are going to want... Um, with Amazon, they want to see that you made a sale, that you're making sales within, I don't remember what the time frame is, but you have to be making sales. So don't go out and apply for all of these programs when you're not ready yet to promote items. That's very important. As a matter of fact, if you apply for certain programs and you get declined because you don't have enough traffic or you don't have enough um, email subscribers or social, whatever it happens to be, you may not be able to apply to that program again. So be careful about that. Okay. So check out Amazon Associates and what that all entails. I am a, a member. Like I said, that isn't my primary goal, but this is a good example of where I would use it because if I want to promote those lights and I bought them from Amazon, Amazon does convert really well. That's one of the reasons why I send people over there. Plus, if they put those lights in their cart and then they throw a few more items in that cart, you actually get a commission on all the items in the cart. That being said, you only get a commission if they check out within within 24 hours. Unless they just put something in their cart and they leave it sitting there for 30 days and then they don't check out. So there is a 30 day waiting period if they put something in their cart and then they don't, they don't check anything else out and it sits there and then they check out in 30 days. But otherwise, it's 24 hours, okay? But it's everything in their cart you would get a commission on in that 24 hours. So they might buy these lights, but they might also buy cat food. They might see a t-shirt they like, or they might buy other video equipment. They might buy a microphone. Okay, now, let's just say, though, and, and I've not investigated this, so we're doing it on the fly, which is perfect. So let's just say I want to go see if there's another program that might offer these lights that might pay a higher commission. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to type in newer and I'm going to put affiliate program. So this is how I find the majority of my affiliate programs. I go to Google and I type in whatever the product is, the brand is affiliate program. Sometimes that works more than often that I find that's the best way to do it. Now, there we go. There is one. So newer affiliate program. So if let's see how much they pay. Uh, minimum payout is $100. I'm looking. Okay, here it is. Six to 10%. So it says right here, you can promote newer products on your website, blog, social media, or online platform and receive 6 to 10% commission for any sales you successfully recommend. All right. Keep in mind, conversion matters. I have some affiliate programs where I get so many clicks, nothing ever converts. Maybe that particular brand charges too much for shipping. And so everybody leaves the cart. They're used to not paying for any shipping at Amazon. If they've got Prime, so they're thinking, oh, I'm not going to go. I did this yesterday, as a matter of fact. I was looking at something. The the brand itself, I went to their website. They had like a coupon code. If you buy four of this particular item, they'll take 10% off. And I was like, oh, that's a good deal. But then we got to the cart. They charge for shipping. And it wasn't going to ship till after Christmas. We're in the holiday season right now. And I'm like, that's 11 days away. They're not going to make it in time. But if I go back, back over to Amazon, I don't get that coupon discount, but I'm not paying for shipping and it's going to be here. It says it's going to be here in two days. So I made the choice not to go through the brand itself, but rather to go through Amazon. So that's what I'm referring to when I say Amazon really converts at a high level. People understand it. They know it. They know how it works. So sometimes it's a trade-off. We might get less commission, but we might get more conversion. So you've got to pay attention to that as well. I track all that stuff. This, one of the software I use to track all of my affiliate sales, I'm going to put a link below, is called Affiliate. And I can see my uh, how many sales I got from different links and different pages on my website and, and different um, pro products. So sometimes I can test like, oh, I'm sending a bunch of clicks here, but I'm not getting 
conversion. Let me switch to a different place and see if I can get more somewhere else, okay? So as we can see, Newer itself has an affiliate program. So if you read the details of their affiliate program, here's what it says here. Um, refer your friends to using the referral links and earn commissions on purchases made by them. Um, you also get a 15% off coupon to give your audience. That's something you're not going to get from Amazon. So that can increase conversions when you actually have a coupon to give people. So when people say, hey, Lori, what are your video lights? I like them. I could say, oh, here's a link to newer plus my coupon gets you 15% off. And I also benefit. By the way, you have to say that. It's part of the Federal Trade Commission regulations that when you receive a commission of any kind for promoting a product or a sponsorship, or if they're paying you to talk about it in any way, you're supposed to disclose it. And it's actually could be a criminal offense if you don't. Not only could you be fined, but it could actually be criminal depending on the, um, the dollar amounts of purchases and whatnot. So always say it. That's why in every video you hear me say it. If I mention software or something that I get paid on, I'm going to tell you about it. Okay, um, here we go. 6% standard commission rate, 8% premium. So if you get to $10,000 in affiliate sales, you could earn 8%. So what they're doing is they're giving you a tiered commission level. So the more you sell, the more money you make. I like those types of programs. I have one affiliate relationship that is six figures a year by itself. And it tiered up and I'm now making 45% um, per software subscription, long story, but that's how that stuff works. The more you create, the more you sign up, the more you make most often. And with a lot of these affiliate programs, you can also negotiate a higher commission when you're doing a lot, sending them a lot of business. All right. So that's another way to do it. There's another way to do it. You also could think to yourself, all right, who is selling these lights? Walmart. I don't know that Walmart sells these. I'm just making something up. Best Buy, um, whatever your local electronics store is, Crazy Egg, not Crazy Egg, um, I forget that it, there's uh, there's all kinds of different uh, software companies, digital electronics. So you might be able to find another place that sells these that maybe offers 10% commission and has good conversion. So those are how I kind of explore those. Okay, so... The other thing you can always do is go straight to the website itself. So we know Newer has its own website. For example, um, hold on, what was it? Let me go back and look at what they're, okay, it's just Newer.com. So we'll go up here, N-E-E-W-E-R.com. So you can go directly to the brand's website. And then oftentimes if you scroll down to the footer menu, right down here, they will often list their affiliate program. And here it is right here, newer affiliate program. Sometimes it will say referral and sometimes it will say partner. So you're looking for affiliate program, referrals or partners. Those are where they tend to put their program in there. Okay. So those are two ways to find affiliate programs. Now the third way is through affiliate networks. So these affiliate networks, for example, I'm going to, I'm also going to put these in the video below. Share a sale is one I'm going to talk about today. A win, which stands for, um, now I forgot. I thought it's, it's, I thought it stood for something referral window, but I can't remember now affiliate window, affiliate window, something. So a win is another one. A win actually owns share a sale, but they're still, they bought it, they acquired them, but they're still separate sites and programs. Then we have impact used to be called impact radius impact. That's another one. Then we have CJ affiliate or CJ.com. That was one of the original networks. Okay. Um, these are just a few. There's another one. A lot of people used to use in the very beginning. It's called ClickBank. ClickBank has a lot of uh, software and things like the green teas and the weight loss items and things like that. And it's pretty easy to get in with them. So that's uh, ClickBank, okay? There are so many affiliate networks. There's affiliate networks that are specifically related to niches, like travel. So if I was a travel blogger, there's an affiliate network called TravelPayouts.com. If you're in finance, there's finance networks, okay? So these networks basically manage 
the affiliate programs for the brands. So it's one network with a bunch of affiliate managers that manage the programs for the brand. So they handle the payouts, they handle getting your tax information, they handle the applications, they handle the marketing assets, images, links, that kind of thing. And when you join an affiliate network, you can go in and poke around at all the brands. But that being said, just because you get into the affiliate network doesn't mean you'll qualify for the affiliate brands. You still need to apply to each brand. Some of them have automatic acceptance or denial based on things that are in your dashboard. It could be how many sales you've had. It could be the website you put on your profile. They're looking for brand alignment. They're looking for a certain amount of traffic. They're looking for a certain number of conversions. So sometimes you won't get approved. Um, I find for the most part, a lot of the programs within share a sale have been pretty easy to, to, um, get approved for. So what you'll do is you'll go into these affiliate networks and they're going to ask you for your, basically your brand footprint, your website, your social channels, all of that so that they can look and see if your brand and their brand are in alignment. I, I, sometimes I get turned down all like a clothing line or uh, there's one I've been promoting. I've been liking recently that I started to buy and I never get approved. And I know it's because I'm not in their demographic. I'm a 50 year old woman and their demographic is, you know, probably late teens to 30, you know, so that could be part of it. Or it could be because the websites that I have on my profile really aren't in the um, beauty influencer or fashion influencer niche. So it could just be that. Or it could be because they want to see more sales in that particular network. They don't tell us. So we don't necessarily know. So I try to stick with products that are related to my niche as close as possible. So my niche is software. So if I were to scroll down, if you look over here, we have all these categories and each of these affiliate networks has categories. And they're very similar. Um, food and drink, games and toys or kids, health, home and garden, marketing, real estate, sports and fitness, travel. Okay, so let's go look at, I think it's under marketing. Um, I want to go to, oh, I clicked on military. That explains, there it is. So marketing. So we have 41 items on here that are related to marketing. We have 20 items on here related to SEO, 16 programs, I should say, related to B2B, 16 related to social media. Okay, so let's just say you say you wanna look at social media. So maybe you're a social media influencer. You teach people how to use their social media channels and you're gonna take a look at what social media programs you could promote, okay? So Raven Internet Marketing Tools is under here. Power My Analytics, Tailwind. So that's a good example. Let's look at Tailwind. So Tailwind is a software that helps you um, streamline your processes, automate pins and Instagram um, posts, okay? So here, let's just say you're interested in this. Here's what you can see right here. It says you're gonna earn 15% per sale you're also going to earn 50% per lead. So sometimes people only want to sign up for programs that they can kind of churn and burn through and drive a whole bunch of links and then get paid per lead. Okay. And maybe it's not always a churn and burn. Maybe you're going to do it for a long period of time. It's harder to do with those. Oftentimes you're throwing money at it with paid ads or something. And then the, you know, either that's against the terms of service or Facebook shuts you down or whatever. So that's not always the best way to go about it, but it's possible. So if you say, you know what, I don't want to worry about conversion uh, to sales. I just want to get a bunch of people to take their free trial. I'd rather just take the per lead. Okay. Now, if I want to know more info about this, I can actually click on the program and then I can read more information. So share a sale tells me the average sale, the average commission, the EPC, so the average earnings per um, conversion, earnings per clip, EPC, I'm sorry, I'm saying that the wrong way. Which one is this one? I think this is the equivalent to um, like the being paid for every thousand 
um, clicks, but don't quote me on that one. I don't know why I'm forgetting it off the top of my head. So 4.62% conversion rate, a 90-day tracking cookie, um, and their power rank, okay? So when I'm looking at these, um, I'm generally looking for how much commission, the, the commission percentage is. I'm looking at the referral window or the tracking cookie, which is right here. So what it says is I'm going to get 15%. And if they click on my link, I have 90 days. Um, they have 90 days to convert to a purchase for me to get a commission. Okay. Those are kind of some of the things I pay attention to. The EPC is really important. After you have a whole bunch of conversions, you're taking a look at which ones are going to be more beneficial um, based on the, the number of clicks that you're getting. Um, but I'm looking mostly right now for how much percent per sale and the nine day cookie. And then the other thing that I look for is I prefer to find programs that are recurring rather than one time. So that means they're going to pay me every month as that um, software renews. Okay. So if you scroll down here, you can take a look at what this says. So it says sign up. Um, it says master tailwind. Okay. First time creators bonus, um, special promotional bonuses for new feature content, 90 day cookies. There it is. 15% recurring. So I couldn't tell up here if it were recurring. So what that means is if somebody signs up for tailwind, okay, looks like they're paying 50 cents for the lead for somebody takes a trial. Then they're paying you 15% when the person converts and then they're paying month over month. So as long as that person is a su subscriber, you would be getting 15% every month. Okay. That's fantastic. Um, that's the way I like to do my business. I like that a lot. Okay. The next one over here. Um, oh, and then once you're, um, I'm a member of this program. So once you're a member of this program, also, if you go over here to get links, depending on the affiliate network you're part of, they give you a bunch of different links. Look at this, Tailwind versus Buffer, Tailwind versus Hootsuite. So I could say, if you're wondering, let's say I do a whole blog all about Hootsuite, and then I put on, or uh, social media tools, automation processes. And then I could say, here's a list of how Tailwind compares to Hootsuite. If they click this link that I have put in the blog, and they make a purchase after reading this blog, I get a commission. I love marketing assets. They also have banners that you can put on your website. So each one of these banners comes with a code. So if you click there, there is a, a code here that you can add to your website. So if you're using WordPress, you can click on the HTML to add this code, or you can click on the Gutenberg blocks, click the little plus sign, add the HTML, or if you're using a page builder like Elementor or Beaver Builder or any of those, you can just add the little HTML element and you can add the banner. There's lots of ways to add those, okay? So these are the nice things about um, ShareSale. In addition, here's a real bonus, and I didn't see what the commission was on this, but there, it offers a two-tier commission, which basically means if you're promoting this program, and you want to tell everybody how great the Tailwind Affiliate Program is, like I'm doing right now, not intentionally, it was my example, but I'm telling you how great the Tailwind Affiliate Program is. Earn 15% recurring month over month. Sign up 100 customers and make $1,500 a month. You know, there's lots of ways to promote that. And you sign up as an affiliate after you click this link that says join now to become an affiliate, then I get a commission off of you signing up to be an affiliate. So like I have one of these two tiers and it's for um, advertising platform and I get 3% of all of their ad revenue. I mean, that's, that's, that, that adds up, that adds up real quick. Um, so these are really cool. So you can also sort with share sale and find two tier programs. Okay. So share sale is just one option. I will tell you that my highest paying affiliate programs are not part of networks. They're actually independent. They had their own program and I signed up with them directly, but I do like to use all these different networks. So I'm, you know, I've got one, I mean, for example, um, I'm an affiliate with an AI writing tool and my commission right now is about 1500 a month. Um, and 
Oh, no, they are part of an affiliate network. I changed my mind on that one. But I have another one that's a, a real estate develop the six-figure one. That one just manages their own program. Then I've got another one that's in the real estate niche. It's the, that one's about twelve fifty a month. They have their own. They're not even part of this. It's not that one's better than the other. It's just what's available, right? But the nice thing about joining a network is that you can go in there by niche and you can look and see. Um, and then down here, you'll get a list. of. So here's one I made a $99.80 commission off of a course builder. I made $20 off an AI spelling check tool. I made $10 bucks off a WordPress plugin. I made $30 off... Um, Oh, didn't see that one. Off sending somebody to share sale. So that's another, you can, some of these affiliate networks even pay you to send people there. Um, I don't even know that I know which ones do or don't. Off the top of my head, but obviously that's one. Okay, um, then you have AWIN. And AWIN works, works the same. If you look over to the left, here's the categories. Finance and insurance, retail and shopping, um, travel. So uh, let's take a look at their travel programs and see what they have. Let's reset the search. Travel. It's not popping up the way I wanted it to. Oh, those are, tra oh, we're already in travel, okay. So it has airlines, airport, car rental, coaches, cruises. So here you can sort in this one with the spreadsheet view like this kind of nice. You can sort by conversion rate. So if you wanted to see which programs are converting at the highest level, you can sort this by highest to lowest. There we go. So free now PL converts at 64.49%. But they could have had one click and one conversion. It's a little bit confusing on I would have to dive in deeper to look at those numbers to see how many clicks do they have how many sales do they have then kind of look at that you can also say I only want ones that are in North America for example and it'll get rid of those ones that are only in the other countries okay so you can play around with those you can also sort by so here's one that's snowboards Viator is a great travel one. that's one that I'm a mem I'm I'm a member of Viator so I might promote on my real estate website, I promote tours and things to do in Las Vegas because I'm in Las Vegas. So when I talk about like a trip to the Hoover Dam or um, getting in a helicopter to um, helicopter tour of the Strip or places, to, a bunch of different things I have uh, kayaking, then I can put in a Viator link and the Viator pays, I believe Viator pays 10%. Does it say on here? So approval rate, EPC, so I would have to click on the actual program itself. There we go. And now I can read all about the details. So let me see what it says, commission rates. So for existing clients, 4%, for new clients, 4%, so it's 4%. So that's interesting because here's the thing. Sometimes the affiliate program that you join will be part of more than one network and we'll have different rates. So like the like when I uh, in share a sale when I'm promoting those course builders, I only get 100 bucks one time. But those same course builders are now in Impact, which is another network, and now I get recurring commission month over month on those same two builders that I was only getting $99 for. Now I get a smaller commission, but it's a recurring commission month over month, which is what I prefer. Okay, I've got another one that's an SEO tool and I get um, a recurring commission on that one. But now there's a new one where they're just paying $200 flat rate. Well, some people would rather just get the $200 flat rate. I've built an entire living on recurring commission. So I would rather get less and make it month over month. That's personally how I like to do it. But that's not always the best for everybody. Okay, now this network here is quickly becoming one of my favorites for the types of items they have there. Um, share a sale, in my opinion, is the easiest to use. I've been super comfortable. Share a sale, you click on a brand, you go get link. 
it's so easy to get the links, the banners, where Impact is a little bit more developer looking, a little more technical looking, I think. So, but um, it's growing for me, so I'm starting to use this uh, program more and more. But if you look here, so here's an example. If I wanted to do software, Liquid Web, that's web hosting. AppSumo, that is a, a software um, portal where they list a whole bunch of new software. Mini Chat, chat software. Constant Contact is an email program. Um, themes for WordPress, there's another course builder. So this is a cool, I, I think I'm liking this one so much because of all the brands that are joining in here. Now I'll go over here and look at all brands and it'll just give you a glimpse um, as all these brands that are available. Let me get out of categories. Uh, where's the reset? Oh, look at this. We can even select payout. So see, it's a little, I, I haven't gotten into some of these searches as much yet. Okay, here we go. This will help. So take a look here. 1-800-Flowers. We have, um, we're still, let me go to apparel. Let's see if that works for us. Brilliant Earth. I've ordered from them before. By Humankind, I've ordered from them before. That's a higher end one, if, if I recall. Um, look at all of these. You'll see Nike. You'll see good brands in this platform. Also, um, they have, let's go to Baby and Kids. Oh, that's Baby and Kid Homes. They also have new programs in the dashboard when you first log in. I'm kind of avoiding the new the dashboard because it's got all my money in it. So otherwise I would just jump right to that dashboard like I always use it. But I don't want to do that today because it's gonna we're gonna get too confused. But here's an example of some of my brands. Let's click on there. Let's get rid of these two. There we go. 99 Designs is a logo maker. Animoto is a video maker. Themes, there's Best Buy. I was talking about the lights. ClickUp is another popular software. Canva is another popular software. Um, Otter AI, all these new AI tools. That's a, such a big conversation. TikTok for business, I just got approved for the other day, right? So these are all affiliate networks. CJ.com is another one. I don't really use CJ.com, but in the, uh, back in the day, it was huge. But sometimes you're forced to use a particular network because that brand is only being offered within that network. Okay, so how do you find affiliate programs? You go to the brand's website, you look at the bottom of the page, look at their footer menu, look in their menus for affiliates, partners, or referrals. Or you go to Google, type in the brand and the word affiliate program. Or you go to the affiliate networks and you join the affiliate network. You cannot promote a brand until you get approved. You have to get approved. You have to use special links. You have to follow their rules. When you get approved, you'll be able to click on any one of these and you'll be able to see all their terms. And they're going to tell you, here you go, get $2 for a completed signup. Get 25% of the first year's payment for annual plans. Get 25% of the first month's payment with a $2 minimum for monthly plan. 45 day referral period, but then it'll tell you, can you bid on terms or not? Can you run ads or not? What else don't they allow? Each, each brand in each network is going to have their own set of regulations. They don't all work the same. So you got to go in, you got to read the terms, you got to understand what you're bidding, bidding at, what you're working with as far as their terms go. So I hope that helps you with how to find an affiliate program. I'm Lori Ballin. Thank you so much for joining me today.